Notabarosaurus was a genus of herbivorous or metapod dinosaur which lived in what is now northeastern Australia sometime between 107 and 103 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period. It has been recovered in some analyses as a member of the Aquanodontian family, Reptodontidae. After Thumbarosaurus, it is Australia's most completely known dinosaur from skeletal remains. It was named after Matabara, the site in Queensland, Australia, where it was found. Matabarasaurus was about 8 metres or 26 feet long and weighed about 2.8 metric tons or 3.1 short tons. The femur of this holotype has a length of 1,015 millimetres or 40 inches. Whether Matabarasaurus is capable of quadrupedal movement has been debated. It was originally thought to be an iguanodontid, thought recent studies indicate a raptor position. Wonderpods this basal were incapable of quadrupedal movement. Originally reconstructing Matabarasaurus with a thumb spike. Long I later doubted such a structure was present. The foot was long and broad, and with four toes. The skull of Matabarasaurus was rather flat, with a triangular cross section when seen from above. The back of the head is broad, but the snout is pointy. The snout includes a strongly enlarged, hollow, upward bulging nasal muzzle that might have been used to produce the distinctive calls or for display purposes. However, as no fossilised nasal tissue has been produced or found, this remains conjectural. The so-called Bula nasalis was shorter in the older Matabarasaurus as is shown by the dominant skull. The top section of the Bula of the holotype not been preserved, but at least the second skull has a rounded profile. The species was initially described from a partial skeleton found by Grazier Dicolagnon in 1963 at the Roseway Down Station besides Thompson River near Matabara in the Australian state of Queensland which also provides the creature's generic name. The remains were collected by paleontologist Dr. Alan Bartholomew and entomologist Edward Darms. After a lengthy preparation of the fossil, it was named in 1981 by Bartholomew and Ralph Molnar, who honoured its discoverer with its specific name, Langdoni. The holotype specimen QMF6140 was found in the Makunda formation dating to the Albion and Armenian. It consists of a partial skeleton with skull and lower jaws. The underside of the skull and the back of the mandibula, numerous vertebrae, parts of the pelvis and parts of the front and hind limbs have been preserved. Reconstructed skeletons uh, can be found at the Queensland Museum. Some teeth have been discovered further north near Hewenden and south at Lightning Ridge in northwestern New South Wales. At Lightning Ridge there have been found opalized teeth and scapula that may be from a Matabarasaurus. A skull, known as a Dunless skull, specimen QMF14921, was discovered by John Stuart Moore and 14 year old Robert Walker on Dunless Station between Huendon and Richmond in 1987. It originates from somewhat older layers of the Alaru mudstone, 
and was considered by Mona to be a separate yet unnamed species, a Matavarasaurus. The same area produced two fragmentary skeletons in 1989. There have also been isolated teeth and bones found at Iona Station, southeast of Huonden. Reconstructed skeleton casts of Matavarasaurus, sponsored by the Color Company, have been put on display at a number of museums, including the Queensland Museum, Flinders Discovery Centre, and the National Dinosaur Museum in Australia. Molnar originally assigned Matabarasaurus to the Iguan today, sorry, to the Iguanaton today. Later authors suggested with a basal Uornithopod group such as the Cantosauridae, Dryosauridae, or Hypsilophodon today. Studies by Andrew McDonald indicate a position in the Reptodon today. Matabarasaurus had a very powerful jaws equipped with shearing teeth, whereas in more derived U ornithopod species, the replacement teeth alternated with the previous tooth generation to form a tooth battery. In Matabarasaurus, they grew directly under them, and only a single erupted generation was present, thus precluding a chewing motion. An additional basal trait was the lack of a primary ridge on the tooth sides, which show 11 lower ridges. In 1981, Mona speculated that these qualities indicated an omnivorous diet, implying that Matabarasaurus occasionally ate carrion. In 1995, he changed his opinion, suspecting that Matabarasaurus's dental system is evolutionary convergence of the ceratopsian system of shearing teeth. They would have been an adaptation by eating rough vegetations such as cycads.